for the month of January 2020, I'm going to be giving away a few of these awesome items left over on my Nothing Something account to a few of you guys watching at home. So if you do want to be in the chance of winning them, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Secondly, drop a like on today's video and third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, tell me which platform you are on. And three lucky winners will have the chance of selecting any item they want on the very last upload of January. So yeah, best of luck to every single one of you. So as you guys can see on screen right now, today is the day I'm going to be showing every single one of you the easiest way to get your first black market and then sell it on to make yourself even more profit. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you're having a fantastic New Year's Eve and today we are going to be showcasing the very first episode of the brand new series going from 100 credits all the way up to the Striker Titanium White 20XX. Okay, so as I'm sure a lot of you guys know already, we actually recently did enough into White 20XX and you guys seem to absolutely love it. You're nearly getting 2,000 likes on every video, so I just thought why not surprise you guys with a brand new series to get you guys more tips and tricks. So if you guys are new to the channel and you do want to keep up to date with all of this trading content because I'm going to be teaching you guys all of the tips and tricks on how I make the profit and you guys can as well. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications. And if you guys do want me to pursue this series and actually carry on with it, make sure to crush that like button. Let's go for 1,000 likes in the very first 24 hours and I'll definitely make it happen. But before we actually get into the video, we need a quick word from our sponsor and then... We are going to get into the white zombie giveaway announcement, so let's get to it right now. And quickly, before we do get into the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring today's Rocket League video. This site provides flexibility and safety to every single order. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do some insane deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout to get yourself 3% off every single order. Okay, so it is that time once again. We are on the giveaway page and we are about to announce the winner for the Titanium White Zombies. The biggest giveaway on my channel for a very long time to say the least. But I'm pretty sure there's literally over a thousand entries for this giveaway alone. Which is actually mad. Let's have a quick look. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, okay. What? 1,000... 1,656 people. That's actually insane. Right, okay. So let's scroll down. No idea what's actually going on. There we go. Okay, so... Here we are about to announce the winner. Obviously, there's going to be so many more giveaways on the channel. Now we've hit 100k subs because that was my dream come true. And hopefully today, at least, we are going to make this person's dream come true as well. So let's just see who's won it. Come on, please be someone that's deserving it. And it is going to be... Okay, so it's going to be this guy right here. So we've got Dan J and he's put his gamer tag there. So let's just check my subscriptions just to make sure he's subbed to the channel. Obviously, all of this is going to be hidden for privacy reasons. Uh, but we need to go scroll down and eventually find his name at least. Let's have a quick look. Nothing's really cha- Oh, okay. Dan J, right. Dan J, let's see if that matches up. Dan J, I'm pretty sure that is the guy. So what? Oh, congratulations, first of all. What I'll do is message you and you've got yourself seven days to reply. If I do not hear a reply or you claiming the zombies... I'm going to give it away to someone else because I can't just sit with them. I want to give them away to a fan. So eventually, I'll give it away to one of you guys if he doesn't claim it. But thank you, everyone. That has entered the giveaway. Obviously, we've got a new one up right now. So not to worry if you didn't win this one. But yeah, let's just get straight into the nothing something. Okay, so getting into the very first trade of the whole entire series, we're going to be going for a different route as usual because normally, I just buy myself a black market for 100 credits. But that normally takes a long time. So I thought, you know what? Let's go for the least impatient option and actually get ourselves a load of random items. Items, and I can show you all at home then how I'm making the profit with every single item. I'm not just doing the same thing over and over. Um, so basically, I pick up three blueprints, some of them being painted, which I might be able to get myself 100 back alone. And then I get myself a non-crate import. That's about 30 to 50. And also, a, what is it? A titanium white wheel from the Rocket Pass, which might be another 50. But we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, not a bad trade, I guess. So honestly, I wouldn't normally advise going for random items like that. But that way you can make a lot more profit because realistically, that guy gave me an over pay he gave me two painted blueprints a regular blueprint as well which are all black market and then he gave me a white wheel and also non-crate import as well for 100 credits that is a bargain and obviously with 100 credits at the start of the series it's not going to be easy to make myself profit so i feel like i've done a very good job here because then i actually found a guy with a fennec uh, so you're probably thinking, right, a regular Fennec, how much is that worth? Maybe 50. It's selling at around 200 right now. So what we do is the white wheel and also add a random blueprint. It probably isn't worth more than like 20 or 30. So yeah, I'll happily take that trade. But I'll tell you what, this actually might be an incredibly good tactic to make yourself the cheap and easy profit with the regular Fennec. I mean, painted Fennec, when it comes into the equation, you can make more profit by buying and selling white, etc. But if you've got a small inventory, even 100 or maybe a few hundred credits, invest and pay 100 for every single Fennec you see on 
on the market. And I guarantee to every single one of you, you will be able to flip it for at least 150 and probably 200 to be fair. Because I found 200 pretty easily from this trade. And that might be a new way of making profit. We never know. Now I've just said that, there'll probably be a load of people doing it. So people that are early to this video may have a better chance. But yeah, happily take that trade. And although we're not making tons upon tons of profit, you've got to think about it logically because we've literally just started the series. We've already got 200 credits and a load of painted items as well. So it's not a bad start whatsoever. Obviously from taking a different route from just buying a black market and then selling it on. So that just shows there's many different ways to make profit. You've just got to believe in yourself and be confident in trades. And anyone can make profit realistically like no matter who you are so basically this trade right here i'm not gonna lie the blueprints got on my nerves like <laughs> i have no idea if they're worth more than this but i just thought you know what get them gone get the ion gone because i know a complete minimum that halo is going to be worth at least 100 credits so yeah happily take that trade okay and because the main reason for me doing this series is to help you guys straight away i want to say that the website that i do use for my prices because i see that commented all over the place where do you find your prices etc is rl insider and just take it with a good, take it with a pinch of salt. I'm pretty sure that's the saying, uh, because all of the prices are gonna be different. There's some prices that are off and some prices that are very, very on. But yeah, the Saffron Halo is priced about 100 to 160. I'm pretty sure. So even getting the minimum value because it's a random topper will be very, very good. But we got ourselves 50 credits right here and a Crimson Breakout. The Crimson Breakout should be able to go for 100. So I'm more than happy to take that. And I'm aware right now that White Breakout is going for a good few hundred because there's been a massive demand because loads of different free stylers. All they use really is the Batman build and mostly the Breakout. So there's been a bit of a spike in the Breakout market recently. But... I just want to try and get myself the easy profit. If I was on my main account, I might, I might have waited for like 150, 200. I don't really know. But I just thought, you know what? I might as well get the quick and easy credits. Because the credits on enough in something is crucial. Because uh, that way you can then snipe on several different items. And most of the time make yourself even more profit. So honestly, I'll happily take that trade. Even though in the long run, I might be able to get 150. But still, cannot complain. Alright, so if from 2018 to 2019, I'm pretty sure every single enough in something I said pay no more than one key or one. 100 credit equivalent for a black market but i hate to say it times have changed a little bit because adding credits obviously when they added credits to the game there is a little bit in the market where you can either do 110 120 130 140 150 etc so you can sort of meet in the middle and before the beauty of just paying one key was that it was such a bargain but now the prices have sort of changed a little bit i don't see any black market sold less than 150 currently so i thought you know what paying 140 for a tune i know eventually i'll be able to get myself 200 and he also added some random stuff as well so kind of complain okay and surprisingly non-crate varus have actually been creeping up a little bit on the market like obviously when the blueprint update came out it was the only thing you could actually trade up anymore and obviously no one really complains about getting a painted octane in a trade up but i just thought you know what i thought like the non-crate very rest would only creep up when the update came out but when the update did actually come out they dropped so it's it's confusing it really is confusing to me but they seem to actually go up a little bit they seem to be going for around i think it's three for 200 right now so i just thought you know what paying one ten to three of them seems like a very very good deal because then eventually in the long run i might be able to get myself 200 so can't complain about this trade and if i'm being completely honest i had no worries about getting this trade because i just know from experience that i will be able to get myself 200 for every single two that i do buy it just takes a very long time and that's what i mean about the spreadsheet it's on and off with prices because somehow the tune is still 200 to 300 like come on like sort it out like is <laughs> there's no way anyone is ever going to get close to 300 credits for a tune like realistically even if you're getting 200 that is a w uh because it takes a very long time most of the time to even get 200 credits for a tune but obviously i'm not going to complain about this trade getting myself more pure credits to make myself even more profit and honestly surprisingly enough i got so many offers on my non-crate very rare it's like there's a massive demand for them i don't have people just going crazy about doing trade-ups etc like i don't really know what's going on but yeah, non-crate very rare. There's a decent demand for it right now, which I'm proud to see because that was the main way of me making profit back in 2018 when they released these. I just made so much profit from buying and selling them. It was actually insane. But as it, as you can see on screen right now, it's the easiest thing to actually get 200. I got a couple of 180 offers, but then eventually this guy came through and offered 200 for the free non-crate Vera. So obviously I'm happy with that trade, making myself a solid 90 credit profit. All right, and to my awareness, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever either bought or got a splash gold explosion before. Like it's actually really cool as well. Whenever I play ranks, uh, people always ask as well what rank I am. I'm actually a diamond free right now in doubles. I was champ last season but i'm struggling all right i'm struggling to get back there it's really really hard for some reason 
But basically, simple little trade right here. We're doing 200 credits and sort of random tiny ads that are shocking, to be fair, that probably aren't worth more than 10 credits on top and getting ourselves the Splash Gold Explosion, which actually sells for about 400. So it's going to be interesting to see next episode if we do make ourselves double profit. And here we go with the final trade, grabbing ourselves the very first Black Market decal of the whole entire series so far. It's going to be a certified hex. And ironically enough, we actually got the very same sir. I don't know if this, if this is the exact same item. I know this isn't the same person. But we got ourselves a score of hex in the last series, which is actually kind of mad to be fair. But we paid 300 credits, considering it's 400 to 500 on the spreadsheet. I don't know why I'm speaking so weirdly now. It's probably because I've been recording so early. Um, I don't normally record until later in the evening, but I'm recording really early to get this out of the way. But basically right here, a simple little trade. Considering hex is normally worth around 400 credits, I should be able to make myself a little bit of profit with that cert as well. So yeah, cannot go wrong with that trade. So that is going to do it for the very first episode of this brand new series. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And honestly, if you are new to the channel and you do want to keep up to date with this series, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications. If you guys do want me to carry on consistently uploading this series, make sure to crush that like button. Let's go for 1,000 likes in the very first 24 hours and I'll definitely make it happen. And yeah, hope you all had an amazing year and I'll see you guys in 2020. Hey.